Goose kill? I forgot. <laughs> Alrighty. It is 10, 2.30. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have another presentation. I apologize. Uh, uh, who's going to make the presentation from Pitney Bowes or... Um, last meeting you asked us to get some background from Pitney Bowes from other counties. Um, Debbie's got some too and I gave you some that they were state approved um, and that we had an email reference from, oh, I don't know where she's from, Clay County on um, their usage and I thought there was another county that Stuben, gave us some Stuben. and that uh, everyone seems happy with Pitney Bowes. Don asked me about cost. There won't be any increase to any appropriated money we already have for the postage, changing from Hassler to Pitney Bowes, but definitely much better customer service as far as the maintenance and um, the upgrades to the business. We don't want to own the postage machines that's of no used to us. We kind of went through that last time where in two or three years they're outdated. Um, and Matt is here. Peterson from Pitney Bowes if you have some more questions in regards to always just leasing it continually and letting them keep the machines that way. If a new better machine comes along they will just automatically give that to us and go into that situation. Because right now we own the ones from Hassler. But if we go to Pitney Bowes, us owning them is them going in the county auction and we all know how much money that makes us. Yep. Scrap metal, not too shabby. So. <laughs> Gentlemen, any questions for uh, Pitney Bowes? I guess I have a quick question for Jen. Do we have a penalty if we go if we get away from Hassler on this? We're not contracted with them. I checked into that. We're no obligation to them other than we own the machines and we're just stuck with them. Is there any value to the machines? Mm -hmm. Not really. Scrap metal. <laughs> <laughs> we had Stugan County before you come in. Who other what other Clay county? county. What did they say? Um you got a thing there, but they said who she was and that they've had the machine around for two and a half years. No problems with it. Um, they use it even for tax statements, which we don't even do. The whole courthouse uses this machine and no complaints. And if you have a question and call the toll-free number, someone talks me through what I need to do or they will send out a tech. The tech is or has been here the same day or the first thing the next morning, depending on and they are pleased with the Fisher's machine as if they used it. That was Clay County, no, I guess not I missed that. No, I didn't. We did not. I, did see not. I don't that. think we got there. We got Stubbin County. Oh, so okay. we, yeah, we got Stubbin County, which is where we can do so. Oh, well. uh, those are the only two counties? That's all that Matt furnished with us, yeah. I didn't know how many you guys wanted. And then I put the letter that um, Pitney Bowes was the state. Matt, are there any counties that you would not want us to contact? Oh, no, not at all. I just, I think what we had talked about a little bit was we were trying to get a county that was similar in size and equipment. Um, and that's where I initially started with. And then, like I said, kind of broadened the scope a little bit. I talked to Jen and I said, you know what, it would be a little easier to branch out a little bit farther um, as far as just other Pitney Bowes customers in general because we don't have a lot of customers in specifics that are using this type of equipment. It's a little bit larger of a tier where Steuben County is the larger tier uh, equipment they do anywhere between I think four to six thousand dollars in postage a month uh, which would warrant a different machine than um, you know, somebody that's doing maybe a thousand piece or, you know a thousand dollars a month so our recommendations are, are really based on, on need and postage postage usage um, and after talking to the um, uh, the clerk's office and kind of understanding uh, their needs over there from the correct scale uh, the type of mail processing um, our, our, you know, business recommendation was the, you know, the DM-475 that could handle the mixed size mailings as well as have the, uh, the scale that they needed as well. Okay, thank you. We'll have two machines. Correct. One in the uh, courthouse and here. I'm sorry. Courthouse and here. Correct. Okay. The right. DM-475 is no more money than what we've appropriated. 
you all have that worked out, is that right? Okay. All right. Any other questions, gentlemen? Make a motion that we approve the change to Pitney Bowes. Motion. Second. And motion second for the discussion. I'll try to get this right this time if I possibly can. All those in favor, raise your right hand. All those opposed. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, Matt. What well, isn't the worst thing I've ever done? I, I when I worked at the hospital, we had to we had to do the loudspeaker, they you know the, the thing. And, and one night at eight o'clock, I got on the overhead intercom and I said, "It's now eight o'clock. All patients must go home." <laughs> <laughs> so, see, I wasn't. I didn't mean that, but that's what I said. <laughs> All righty. Well, we'll we will then. Um,